Sexual misconduct is all over news and social media. You may have been the victim of sexual misconduct or are concerned about what to do if it happens to you. You're not alone. Here are four ways virtual interns or employees can stop sexual misconduct situations. Number one, work virtually. You can decrease your chances of dealing with a similar encounter by working virtually in the comfort and safety of your own home. Immediately, you take out the physical aspect of sexual harassment because you aren't physically in the same space with other people. Number two, confronting. Even when working virtual, you can still experience some form of sexual harassment. For example, if someone does something inappropriate in a video conference call, you can state that you're uncomfortable with what just happened. A statement like, I don't think blank is appropriate, please stop immediately, most people will wake up and realize that they were offensive or inappropriate and will apologize. Problem solved. If they don't stop, then you can excuse yourself from the call and assess what you want to do next. Number three, emails, texts, and instant messaging. If someone writes something inappropriate, you should respond with your comment in the nature of, I'm uncomfortable with your statement, please stop. Again, most people will stop and apologize. Problem solved. Number four, don't be a bystander. If you see or find out about sexual misconduct happening to another coworker or virtual intern, say something. Step in and stop it from happening, and then report it to the human resource team and convince the victim to do the same. Because victims don't always report the misconduct, often out of fear of losing their job or retaliation. Here's what you should do if something does happen to you or another coworker. Keep a record of all evidence of the misconduct. This includes emails, text messages, screenshots, and so on. Report the incident to the company's human resource department. Please be sure to record the conversations between you and the HR person. If it's over an email or another type of instant messaging, be sure to keep copies and screenshots. Make sure that Human Resource sets a date in which an investigation, action, and outcome will be taken by. Check back with Human Resources on the date set. If action's been taken and you feel it's appropriate and the bad behavior won't be repeated, then there's no need for further action. Good job. You stood up for yourself and probably others. Pat yourself on the back for making your work environment a safer place. If the human resource team doesn't respond with investigation, action, or outcome that feels right to you, it's time to hire an attorney.